Oh, we meet again, do we, buddy? Oh, we meet again, and I just realized my dude is sitting right next to this stinking Alpha Kano. Guys, welcome back. Welcome back. That's a really weird headshot. Uh, we're zooming in. On oh, no, 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 no. No! Leave my Anki alone! Diplo, save him, buddy! Save him! Oh, you really got to fight right on top of the Anklo that I probably should have confirmed was tamed up, like, yesterday and not just... Sit. oh my gosh um hey hey who wants to help me out here buddy <laughs> look we tame you up for something oh why have i just oh i got this guy sorted hold on maybe i actually don't know how much damage we're dealing we're dealing good damage or not uh not good enough oh yes yes get absolutely wrecked alfagato get absolutely wrecked and you know what diplo you can go down as well buddy you can go down too guys Welcome back to our Mega Modern Survival. Uh, what a ridiculous uh, beginning to today's video. I hear loud music and a bit of stomping and fighting. And then I realize, wait a second, I left an Inkalo to team up down there. I have no idea if my dude here is alive. Oh, well, I don't think he was alive. For a second there, I was like, no, what are you doing, Die Wolf? What are you doing? Uh, yeah, I think I think we lost it. Long before my direwolf, my direwolf definitely didn't get the kill. It was the Kano. Dang it, dang it, dang it. But that's okay. It is what it is. It's unfortunate, but I guess we got to go and find another one elsewhere. There's over plenty of them around. Oh, but guys, what a start to the series it has been. I just want to wish you all a happy Halloween for yesterday. I know I'm like a day late, but I hope you guys all had a fantastic one. We went out, we went trick-or-treating for the first time in my life. It took 30 years to go trick-or-treating. It's not a big holiday in Australia, but it's starting to be. And I cannot wait to like live my the childhood the halloween childhood that i missed through my children it's so freaking awesome giselle loved it she's only 18 months old but she was like fascinated with all the costumes and she got a few little treats of her own i hope you all had a great halloween though that's uh that's that's the epitome of what i want to say and hey while we're here if you haven't yet done so please go ahead punch that thumbs up make it rain those thumbs up subscribe to the channel we are on track to reach a million subscribers by the end of the year it might happen it might not we'll see what happens but uh we should get into today's video where we're gonna begin by doing something that we've been uh kind of putting off for the last few days uh kind of just just laziness really laziness is pretty much the the best way of putting it we're gonna name some of our dinosaurs now i haven't i haven't got names for everybody here but i've been scouring the comments and i've pulled out a couple for our longer serving dinosaurs who aren't named we're going to be starting out with our stegosaurus here this little naturist beast right here he's got a cool little look to him his kind of He's got an interesting look. I actually don't know what this pattern is about. Also, through reading the comments, learned a little bit about this guy and why it turns out I just fail at using a Stegosaurus. But now I know how to use one, so that's pretty cool. So the name I've chosen out was suggested by Dosed Sunrise, and the name we are going to be choosing is Ivy. Ivy, our Stegosaurus, is probably the first Stego I've ever had without naming it something that rhymes with Stego, like Lego and Lego and... I think we literally just call our Stegos Lego <laughs> before I think about it. But what I learned about these Stegos through the comments is these guys have actually got three different modes and they're not they're not obtained using right click. It's C click. You've got hardened plate, which is this one here. Now I believe hardened plate might be good for trees. I could be wrong, probably wrong, but that's okay. Then you've got heavy plate. Maybe heavy plate's the good one for trees. And then you've got sharpened plates. Basically, one's good for uh, wood, one's good for thatch, the other's good for berries. Uh, which is why the first time we tried to do it with my dude here, it didn't quite work out. But then when we accidentally hit C again and we unleashed our sharpened plates, I guess that's how we got our berries yesterday so it worked out pretty well anyways ivy the stego thanks for all the suggestions moving on to our stone carno here this weird looking beast i don't really know what else to call it um i have chosen a pretty cool one this one here is going to be gold oh hello hold on just a second got a little bit distracted dude that's the outfit that i wanted to tame up yesterday oh i don't have many arrows left though unfortunately but we could try Oh my gosh, it's literally like wanting to land in my base. Oh, is he gonna... Oh, do you reckon we could do it? I probably need better arrows though. I actually hit it. Oh, oh gosh. My dinosaurs are gonna try and rescue me, aren't they? Nope, they're good. They're good. They're just gonna leave me for dead. That's okay. That's okay. Look, let's go for it. Let's see what happens, okay? What do we got to lose? Bit of dignity. Bit of... Bit of, bit of arrows. A few arrows is what it is. Let's go. Oh, there he goes and running. He's running. 
Yep, why am I not surprised? These Dracodactyls don't sit still. And because it's an alpha, I can't bowler it. I need like a chain bowler or a good like trap or something. Unless he comes back for more right this second, which he is doing. He's not going to last long, though. He's going he's gonna to get over this one really, really fast. If only I had more special... Yep, there he goes. If only I had more special arrows. Oh, I thought that one might hit just to give him an extra little dose. All right, we'll ignore the Dracodactyl. He clearly doesn't want to be tamed up. You ready? Watch this. That was a terrible shot. <laughs> that was an absolutely atrocious one. He's still flying. Like, I still feel like he's going to fly back for more. So I'm, I'm still kind of worried, but maybe we can just, we'll just ignore it. Let's name our Kano though for our Kano here. Our Kano Toro. Where, well, there it goes. We're calling him Toro. He is our Kano Toro. Uh, that is what it was suggested by Pika Pax. Apparently it is a name of Kano in a show. And I can't remember what the comments said. However, Pika Pax, it turns out, has a YouTube channel of his own where they upload their own Minecraft texture packs. So if you want some uh, Minecraft texture packs, go ahead and check them out. Little 200 sub channel. Um, if that's up your alley go and have a look but last but not least and the best of the bunch our alpha fire dire wolf here this flaming fella that we tamed up last episode uh it wasn't the most liked comment but it was the one that just stuck with me and i couldn't not do it we are going to be naming our alpha dire wolf right here right now we're going to be calling him rayul rayul the wolf this comment was left by hudson viviers who said that uh it basically means red wolf yeah who, who would have thought rayul means red wolf and we have a red fiery wolf right in front of us right here so what, what a perfect name what a perfect naming suggestion and uh just for the record rayul kicks some serious butt as you can see it has a kill count of 22 already I've gone killing a few dinosaurs already. That's right. I mean, have a look at this. 800 damage. That's so much better than anything else that we've been using thus far. Um, except he can deal even more than that if you're fighting the right opponents. And let's go find some right opponents. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, we've been stacking up these kills, which in case you don't know how this works, it's a from the combat trainer mod. And what it basically does is every 100 kills, our guy here will not evolve but level up i suppose and um just get stronger and stronger and stronger uh so i kind of want to do that i want to get to 100 kills and get him nice and strong but we'll see how that goes i've just noticed we got we got a lot of alphas that have moved into our beach an alpha woolly rhino i still want a mantis to help with harvesting especially since we didn't get our um enki it's a little bit sad but it is what it is um and then over here another alpha kano Look at this one, Alpha Stone Kano, who just killed... What was that that it just killed? It killed something. Uh, I'm not too sure. Anyways, uh, I guess what I'm getting to is we probably ain't going to survive on this island much longer. I feel like we're going to have to move eventually, um, but we still need ourselves like a good flyer to, to do that for us. We'll get there, especially with the giant stone golem guy. I'm, that guy kind of scares me quite a bit, actually. Hold on. Yeah, got him. <laughs> I will tame this thing up eventually, as long as he doesn't run over to all of the crazy fireworks. Um, why are you? Why are you going in that direction? That's such a yeah interesting choice. But I mean, good on you, I suppose. I really want this. Th oh, hold on. He's actually coming back for more. Oh, somebody turned the sun on as well. <laughs> I've only got like two arrows before we're gonna have to go and craft some more. Thankfully, though, we've got the resources to do that now, so that's pretty cool. Um, yep, you're going towards the water there, bro. What you doing? Do you reckon I could hit it? Not if he loops around. We're just wasting resources. Very valuable resources. Anyways, let's keep on moving. So what I'm looking for... Oh, an Alpha Procopter done. You know what? Why not? Oh, because it's a stone. I do like heavily reduced... Da oh, gosh. This thing's actually... T oh, okay. All right. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, I'm going to get wrecked. Um, okay dude that that dude that dude kicks butt also what is that that's a okay hold on a second maybe we don't need a dracodactyl i've just spotted something way way cooler um this kangaroo is freaking mental this kangaroo is crazy um he ain't gonna leave me alone either okay if anybody look only australians know this i feel 
Kangaroos aren't very friendly creatures. I mean, they can be, but they can also be... I mean, they're deadly. Kangaroos are deadly. I don't know if you've seen the video that went viral like maybe five years ago now. There's a guy punching a kangaroo in the head and everyone's like, what in the world? Uh, oh my gosh. All right, we got a Kano kangaroo battle out here. There's a guy punching a kangaroo in the head and a few people were like, wait, whoa, whoa, you can't do that. Well, the kangaroo had this guy's dog in a headlock, okay? His pet dog was in a headlock by this kangaroo. Kangaroo would have choked it out, would have, would have, would have killed his dog. Um, everybody lived in the end. So that was a really, really cool story. But if you haven't seen that video, go looking for it. It's crazy. Um, but basically, kangaroos have really sharp claws. And what they do is they stand back on their on their tail because their tail is really, really heavy. They stand back on their tail and they'll kick their back legs into you. You basically, it's it's good if you get pushed back. If you just get kicked and fall over, that's that's a good ending. That Those claws are really sharp. Put it that It's like a bear, basically. Our kangaroos are like bears. They're our bears. They're our version of bears. They hop around. They're kind of cute. They're not as deadly. You can go and cuddle up with them and be friends with them, but you can also take some pretty serious hits and, and die to them. It's kind of crazy. Anyways, I need some more tranks. You know what? Before I go and get tranks, man, these alpha are everywhere. We killed one and there's two more out here. Um, okay, I just want to make it past. Oh my gosh, we're just luring everything. I wanted to see what this was. Um, it's a duck, 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 duck. It has 15,000 torpor. If I get the right arrows, I'll be able to knock this thing out, I reckon. I just don't know. Maybe it's bowlerable. Either way, I want a flyer. I've been wanting a flyer for so long now. I want to kind of. What is this thing? It's like a snow owl made a baby with a wyvern that made a baby with a. I have no clue what this thing is. It's got, kind of got like a manticore tail as well. I wonder if it deals uh, poison. Either way. Oh, wait a second. Oh, have a look at what it needs. Agaravic mushrooms. Plant species X, Y, Z, Cs. Oh, okay. I can't tame you up. I can't tame you yet. You're like an aberrant. This thing's like an aberrant beast. Now we do have... I'm surprised it's just chilling here, by the way. I don't have a means of like knocking it out right now, unfortunately, but we do have caves, aberrant caves on this map. I could definitely, definitely, definitely go into some aberrant caves and collect what we need to make that happen. But where did that ankle just go? It kind of just fell under the map. Okay, that was weird. We'll say, hey, Kano. Uh, nope. I don't think I can fight you. Oh, no. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm actually going to die. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That thing hit really, really heavily. I don't even know where to go or what to do. I don't know where the Kano is, but I'm getting back to base because we are in trouble. Um, unfortunately, we are running through probably the... Ah, no! 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 Not that, Uniratus! How could you do this to me? Oh, the Kano's on my tail. Oh, my gosh. Run, 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 run! Oh, yes! He's doing it. Oh, and this is so sketchy. This is so sketchy. Uh, turn around, turn around. No, 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 not in the water. Not in the water, please. Jump or something. Jump or something. Oh, gosh. Oh, the kind of is actually coming. <laughs> okay. Uh, no! What in the world is going? No, not a baryonyx. Not, not like this. Not now. Ryu! 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 <laughs> I'm leaving this island. This island doesn't want me. Oh, what? <laughs> what? <gasps> that was such an emotional roller coaster. I don't know what to. Oh. This is why we don't name our dinosaurs. This is why I said we're not. Oh, great. What? 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 Where, where did this weather come from? In case, but in case my day hasn't been ruined already, I come back to this. Oh, all right. Let's let's just let's. I I I. Oh, this is why I meant to put a roof over my head. I just need to process the 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 uh, <laughs> the ride that just happened there. Okay, Kano comes out of nowhere, deals ridiculous damage. Kano has bleed effect, bleeds us, which slows us down. Kano also gets faster the more he sprints. So I need to do a bit of zigzaggy action. 
that's so good i get the upper edge i get like a bit of a clear distance advantage i'm like we're chilling we're good all i gotta do is run past these guys and we're fine uni randis drops his scare attack which takes control of my dinosaur who decides to flee and he's running straight into a rock straight to where the carno is gonna catch me we get stuck on the rock eventually get over the rock and i think oh my gosh we're actually gonna survive then we go for the water and i think oh dear not so good but it is what it is then we hit the wall oh my gosh we hit the water the Kano's nowhere near us i get control over my dire wolf and i think yes we got this in the bag there's a baryonyx right beneath us that stuns us then there's a pack of piranhas beneath that they all together tag team us and we lose rayo at the end great what a fantastic story it's a terrible story uh i need a i need a second i need a second to just i need a second give me a second guys wow that is shocking so I was just thinking about how we should probably uh, grab some more tranks and get our little trank storages ready to go again. And then I, I look down and I realize there are more alphas down here than anything else. We got an alpha megatherium. We got an alpha triceratops. We got an alpha parasaur, I think. An alpha diploy. I'm pretty sure I saw another alpha. There's one over there. I can kind of see the glow to it. Oh, a mesopithecus because... Oh, no, not just an Mesopithecus. That's an Alpha SCP Mesopithecus. Regardless, it's not very safe down there right now. So we probably shouldn't go down there. And then the funniest part is, after I tamed up that direwolf yesterday, I thought, you know what? This, this series is going to be a breeze now. We were hitting things for like 2,000 damage. I mean, it was only the nature dinosaurs because fire is good against nature i suppose and i was like sweet man we're dealing so much damage but this is gonna be a breeze once i get this guy leveled up and evolved and just kind of worked up yeah well i guess i forgot that everything else in the world is also alpha so there goes that idea anyways uh that's just me being big old good old delusional viola i suppose uh regardless though we are going to need some solutions to these problems and the only solutions i can think of right this second are more tranks so let's go and uh let's go and collect some hey now i can't remember which setting we're meant to be using i'm going to move a little bit i think it's the sharpened plate I just don't want to go anywhere near these alphas, basically. So we'll keep our moving. And yeah, definitely sharpened plate. That's the option. It actually gets you move a little bit quicker in sharpened plate mode as well, I think. Uh, but at least we do have a good source of berries. If we didn't, then we'd be in a bit of trouble. Or at least we'd kind of... It'd be a little bit more upsetting. It'd be, it'd be pretty terrible, as a matter of fact. <laughs> but lucky we've got all of these around us. So we can go and get our storages, our stashes up and running. And hey, although it does suck to have all of those alphas chilling and down beneath our base, it's also kind of a good thing. It's a bit of a catch-22. It sucks having them there because they're dangerous. And they're, well, yeah, they're a danger to us, our dinosaurs, and everything else around us. However, because we are up on a cliff face and they are all well beneath us, not being able to get to us, I can use that to my advantage. And we can, uh, well, potentially get ourselves an easy tame. We, they can't get to us. That's the point I'm getting to. I can get to them as long as we get our arrows. So we are going to get us a few more darker berries. I'll probably get a good old thousand stash supply. Similar to what we did um, yesterday. <laughs> Pretty much exactly what we did yesterday. A thousand seems to be a good amount. It allows us to get, well, I kind of, I get, what, 200? 200 narcotics, which gets us about 100 arrows. Really, the one thing slowing us down right now is spoiled meat. I'm pretty sure we do have a good stash of narco berries back at the base. So, technically, we don't need to go too far for them. But, um, we, you know, we're going to need them at some point. We're going to keep on using them. At least we still got all of our items, which, well, th very thanks to our Pteranodon and an Omni tool. I went and obtained everything. Uh, otherwise, I kind of, well, yeah, we might have been in a little bit more trouble. But no, thankfully, we got this all sorted. I don't really feel like fighting this Triceratops. So leave me alone, buddy. Leave me alone. Just let me get these last few bushes, please. He still wants me. He's going to charge at me. Ready? Bam. <laughs> I guess the Stego's tail swipe is... Uh, Whoa, he's got his little nature vines on me. I guess my swipe is kind of better than a, a Triceratops charge. It's kind of funny. I would, I would, I would favor the momentum over my tail, to be honest. But we got the upper hand here. Look at him go. Are you the alpha? No, it's just an ordinary Procoptodon. Sorry, I'm kind of like semi-traumatized about the old... Um, what we experienced earlier with that crazy kangaroo that I 
definitely definitely um that i did not expect to do what he did to us um but that's cool that's cool all right triceratops is down time to get this guy back up to base we've got well over a thousand knock berries which is fantastic i was going to grab these ones here as well the procoptodons generally i was gonna say they flee they definitely will not come over and like engage us unless of course it's an alpha which it isn't thankfully all right um because you're so slow i'll just get you to follow me back to base and i'm hoping we do have you got any, you got any meat on your mate oh yeah none of it's close to spoiling though i'm gonna try and spoil some of this stuff up oh yes oh no i transferred it i wasn't meant to do that okay that was a bad move that's okay we got a stack of meat in here anyways and hopefully yes okay move that in there pull that out here uh split it all and send it back that's how we do nicely done nicely done okay grab that one there as well uh 42 seconds easy peasy oh yeah and this is what i wanted to check up on we still yeah that's what i was gonna say well yeah no i guess we did need berries i thought berries is what we had plenty of but i guess it was meat that we have okay there we go have some more of these oh hold on let me go and pull a hundred worth over maybe a thousand worth over and we'll let these fellas craft up all right there we go all right, so this is how we're looking. 273 narcotics. We, yeah, actually, no, nah, I don't need to let anything else spoil. That's cool. That's heaps. That's fantastic. What's probably going to let us down, though, is the nature essence once again. Um, but we do still have these. So I could just get regular old drink arrows. I guess, like, I don't know how many. Or well, we could get 88. And then we can combine them and we can get, what, 15. We can get, oh, we're still going to need a little bit of nature essence. And we still got these narcotics in here too. Oh man, we got we stacked to the brim. We're good. We're good. All right. Well, while all this is kind of crafting up, I think I'm going to whip out my... I think it's in here. I want to put this down as well. Um, you know, I'm going to grab all of this because I'm pretty sure the pickaxe on a tree was the best source of nature essence. And I'm going to go get some nature essence. We're very, very slow at it. But all right. I'll be right back once we've got some arrows and stuff. All right. Let's see what we can do. We got a good amount of everything actually. So I good feeling pretty good okay so these ones here nope they're the regular ones i want greater ones and obviously we can only get 15 but whatever skis good enough good enough and i oh potent natural narcotics i reckon there's some even better arrows that we haven't quite unlocked just yet but we'll get there we will indeed get there um you know what take some of these Give me another 10. I reckon we can knock something else out. We're just gonna... I don't wanna get ahead of myself just yet, though. That's the only thing, okay? I don't wanna get too far ahead. We've, 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 just, <laughs> we've done that way too much already. Especially yesterday, where I thought that we had it in the bag, and then we did not have it in the bag. We could barely do much, to be honest. We didn't have enough to do anything. Anyways, that is 10. Okay. And then, can I get 10 more... We can get 10 more, and that's good. That's a good amount, I think. A nice old 25 or so. Then we got the leftovers as well. I could probably, you know, I could probably keep going. We still have a bunch of leftover. I could split this over here and craft up another 23. But you know what? I'll just I'll just go ahead and do all of this, and I'll, we'll see how many we get. Well, we have an answer, and it was well beyond what I expected. In fact, we could, we could still go more, but I'm not going to bother. We ended up with 48. Uh, yeah, surprised myself. Like I said, that's ridiculously good. So that's definitely going to be enough to get us a little bit of a head start. I just want to clear out my inventory just a touch. The question is, do we go for another alpha? And if so, what do we want to go targeting? I did anger the Megatherium um briefly had to go and kind of pull myself up so i i think he's down there somewhere that's a dead parasol um so i'm kind of a little bit nervous about that guy there but we should be fine maybe the Kano has been the answer all along i mean he has really ruined our multiple days now <laughs> oh no i do not want to be on the ground uh definitely don't want to be taking full damage no 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 even a given oh there he is this guy here yeah, yeah, I don't know what we did to anger him. He's only level 40, though. Otherwise, 100%, I would consider it. But a level 40, it's not enough. It's not enough. I need more than a level 40 if we're to be even thinking about that. Um, I'm going to work my way around this side, though, because there are... There, just, oh, no. Hold on. Hold on. Is that one there? Oh, that's... Oh, no. That's just the fire precopter done. Oh, I thought it was the alpha one from earlier, but that one there shouldn't be anywhere near our base. <laughs> all right come on let's work it up work it up work it up um maybe 
I'm loving this grapple style of travel, by the way. It's my new favorite style of travel. It's stylish. Stylish style travel. Style points. 100%. Um, what the, what the, what the, what, 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 what is that? Uh, hold on a second. All right, we got a fire drake and dactyl. Not, not interested in you. Um, okay. Oh gosh, we got hyena on pack coming for us. Hit that tree, please. Yep, we're good, we're good. And up there. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Oh no. I that is not okay. That is 100 percent I could knock that thing out. Hold on a second. Maybe? So you got 5,000 torpor. I'm gonna try. Because why wouldn't I? Um, that thing's tameable. Very easily tameable. No, it's not. My arrow did absolutely nothing to it. You probably got to hit it with a cannonball or something. But what? <laughs> That's not the crazy rock monster that has been living on our beach for the last week. That is something completely different. Um, yeah, okay, cool. Uh, I, oh, no. <gasps> oh, I don't have my... Oh, no. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, okay, yep. Get me, get me off the ground. I don't want to be down here with that thing. I don't want to be down here. I didn't sign up for any of this. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh no. No. Why is my... Yes. Okay. Okay. I forgot about these guys. Okay. I'm kind of between a rock and a hard place here. I don't know what to do. I got no health. <laughs> I got 11 health. One more bite. One little hit of anything and I'm dead. We got this guy here who thankfully is a little distracted by... You literally got a dirty curious fighting a rock. I don't think you can find any more fitting situation than these two here going at it. Um, and I can't see a thing because I look up and I look at the sun. My eyes are burning. So really, I got to like detach and go again. I'm so glad I actually know that. Detach and go again. Okay. And can I jump? Yes. Oh, can I jump? Yes. Yes. There we go. All right. We're out of there. We're out of there. We're out of there. Whee. Okay. We're good for now. I should really eat some food. Okay, let me eat some food. Oh, okay. Well, that thing is terrifying. I don't want that anywhere near my base, but he seems to want to come over to my base. I think that is the sign. I don't know. I don't know what to, I don't know how to read this one here. I think it needs to be taken care of, if you know what I mean. I think we got to get rid of this guy. And unfortunately, I don't know if I've got anyone that's going to help us out with that. So... <laughs> Maybe it's time for Makano to step up and we'll see what it's made of. But this thing, um, we can't we can't allow it to get any closer to our base. Toro! It's time, my friends. It is time. I can't even remember how strong Toro is. But let's find out how strong the arcane golem is. Well, he, as long as we don't get hit by his blood. Oh, okay. All right. That melee attack wasn't too bad. Oh, actually, it's you. I think it's the click Ethereum that actually hit me. I don't actually know. Either way, he's distracted. And we're going for the tag team on him. <laughs> this thing is ridiculous. We are... We, I feel like we're immune from the attacks right now. Either that or it just, it just can't hit behind. I'm probably more worried about the Hyena Don pack than I am about the Arcane Golem. But hopefully... Oh, wait a sec. This is an elemental guy. Oh, he, he has elemental nature. He's a nature dinosaur. So... Fighting him with a stone dinosaur, probably not a great idea. I'm not very effective against it, but thankfully he's distracted, which is great for me, obviously. Let's go finish this sucker off and maybe we get some cool loot drops out of it. I don't know. Is this like our first boss battle? Because it sure feels like one, but that's that. <laughs> what? Uh, we learned something. We did learn something from that. Okay. We got, we got some Rift Aether, an ethereal substance that can be obtained from certain creatures from the anomaly. Oh, is this an anomaly dinosaur? Can be used in crafting or as ammunition for spells. We got a gun. We got two gun blueprints. And this is what we unlocked right here. The anomaly power rune. An altered rune for creatures of the anomaly gives them armor. Uh, similarly to a saddle, additionally gives a slight mail. Okay. Wait, is that really what I got? It looks the same. No, 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 no. I don't think so. Hold on. What we got was something down here. I'm so hoping that this doesn't... Yep, he's going to fight me. I had a feeling you would. I had a feeling you would. All right, let's go, mate. Let's go. Come on. Free somewhere else. I don't want it. I don't want it all over me. Get it away from me. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get... Be gone. Be gone. Be gone. All right. 
All right, I'm trying to read. Oh, they're actually harvesting him right now. Yeah, I'm not gonna. Right, I should probably get out of here. <laughs> Otherwise, those hyena dogs are gonna follow me back to base. I want to know what we unlocked though. There was something ru runish. Maybe it was without what we we're just looking at, but I, I just want to be sure. Surely it wasn't just a saddle blueprint. Um, it was in here. Yeah, I think I think it must have been. Anomaly rune stone. So I guess it's a power rune. Um, it's rune for creatures of the anomaly. Gives them armor, kind of like a saddle. I thought that's what the anomaly rune stone is, but I guess it's uh, it's a similar. It requires three T Rex arms and a bunch of other stuff we don't have, so we can't craft up one of them just yet. But dude, that was crazy. <laughs> I got oh hello casually just chilling in my base i didn't even notice guys we're gonna end this one right here i've um yeah today's been an interesting one put it that way i have no words for the first half of the episode i'm really really sad about losing raul the naming curse continues which based on that means our Kano and our stego are next but hey name my other dinosaurs at your own risk okay and we'll, we'll go from there and then whatever that thing we just fought is that kind of caught me off cut but guys if you did enjoy the video please go ahead punch that thumbs up make it rain those thumbs ups but most importantly keep on smiling have a fantastic day and i'll catch you next time bye for now